Hi, I'm Dr. Kathleen Rose, and I am the Superintendent President at Gavilan Joint Community College District. Providing these congratulatory comments to you virtually is certainly against my human nature. We are meant to be together, to share celebratory moments like your pinning ceremony with pictures, warm hugs, and loud applause. You have earned this moment of celebration and all of the honor due to you after completing the rigorous and intensive nursing program at Gavilan. The pandemic, however, has changed many of our plans this year, and we've had to change our rituals and social practices. Your final coursework and your clinicals had to be completed under extraordinary circumstances. All of the globe around you is proud of the work you will be doing as a registered nurse, and we have great gratitude for the oath that you will be taking today to save lives. As nursing students, you know about personal sacrifice, serving a mission, keeping your patients as the focus when they are at their very most vulnerable. You have endured your program at Gavilan College with all of the requirements, lectures, exams, simulations, clinicals, and much, much more. Your families have watched you and have listened to you while you have grown in the nursing program. And if we at Gavilan have done our job correctly, you have received a quality education that you will be uh, proud of for many years to come. Each year at the pinning ceremony, you have the opportunity to forever be connected to the tradition of the recognition of your educational pursuit and the work that lies ahead. Historians can actually trace the pinning tradition back to the Crusades of the 12th century, when a group of knights tended to and cared for the injured and, and suffering crusaders. When new monks were brought into the Knights Order, they decided to continue to help sick soldiers and held a ceremony where each monk was given a Maltese cross that they wore on their arm. If we fast forward from there to better understand the ritual of the pinning ceremony, of course we have to look at the, 19, at the 1860s 
and the work of Florence Nightingale. She was honored with the Red Cross of St. George for her selfless efforts to injured men during the Crimean War. Because she believed in acknowledging a job well done, she presented a Medal of Excellence to her hardest working nursing graduates. By 1916, it had become a standard practice across the U.S. to no longer only award a few nurses with a Medal of Excellence, but instead all nursing graduates with a pin during a special ceremony. The pin you will be receiving is provided by the nursing program of Gavilan College, and it will forever identify you as a registered nurse and act as proof of your training and education. So today, class of 2021, reflect on your personal history and the reason why you be wanted to become a nurse. You have made it. The patients in your future will rely on your compassion, your skill, your resiliency, and your humanity. You will receive recognition and love for your acts of kindness, your selfless intuition, and your ability to grieve. I know you are ready. I know you are prepared. Thank you for choosing Gavilan College to be a part of your personal history. And please remember, self-care is essential to remaining balanced and strong in the years ahead. Now go get them, registered nurses. Congratulations. Take care. Hello, dear graduates. This is Dr. Trevathan. My address to you today is to ask you, who is a nurse? A nurse in these turbulent times can basically be called a superhero in scrubs. For those of us who have chosen this profession, it is second nature to see the act of caring as our specialty. Depending on the circumstances, some of life's biggest moments are spent with a nurse. From the beginning of life, all the way to the end of life. In between those two ends of the spectrum, life has so many ups and downs that most likely a few nurses have been involved in providing the appropriate level of care to one's loved one. As nurses, we have a very important job to do. We see someone's grandparents, mother, father, sister, brother, son, daughter, and significant other in their most vulnerable states. This is very important because of the significant level of trust being placed in our hands. As nurses, we make a difference every day, whether we put on those scrubs or not. The uniform does not define us. What is in our heart does. As newly anointed members of the profession, please remember, good nurses take care of patients, but great nurses take care of the hearts. This chosen profession of ours requires compassion, dedication, and hard work they are the spokes of the wheel that help make this world a healthier place. Your tireless efforts will not go unnoticed. This past year was full of challenges and changes, heartache and victory. Yet, you remain resolute on your life's mission to learn how to care for others. Today, we celebrate you. We celebrate your accomplishment and we hope that our optimism, kindness, and passion for the nursing profession continue to grow and propel you to achieve amazing feats in improving world health. Have a fantastic future and Godspeed. Congratulations, Gavlin College, registered nursing class of 2021. My name is Danae Pescarmona and I have the privilege of serving as your Executive Vice President here at Gavlin College. Today we are here to celebrate you graduates, your perseverance, your hard work, and your achievement. You have accomplished great success in one of the most challenging times in recent history. The completion of your degree during this pandemic is a testament to the people that you are. Now more than ever, nurses are needed, and you are running headfirst into challenges that most would run away from. The images of strength and courage of our nurses 
They've been etched into our memories every day for the past year. We have seen photo after photo of nurses exhausted, faces imprinted with the marks of PPE from countless hours on the front lines. These are the heroes of our year, and now you will enter their ranks. It is daunting and fulfilling work. However, as C.S. Lewis once noted, hardships often prepare people for extraordinary destiny. You have before you an extraordinary destiny, one that will be filled with great triumph and great heartbreak. You will be your patient's strongest advocates. It will be your hand they hold in their darkest moments. You will see humanity at its best and at its worst. And through it all, you will persevere with grace and humility. This is your future. It's what we here at Gavlin College have worked to prepare you for. Many people have contributed to your success along this journey, your friends, your families, your peers, and your instructors. Remember, remember to thank them and hold them close. They will support you for the rest of your lives. Congratulations and best wishes to all of you. Hi, I'm Susan Turner. I'm the lead instructor in the RN program, and I'd like to welcome you here today to our virtual pinning ceremony. I'm so sorry that it's not in person as it should be, uh, so that we could congratulate you with and give you a big hug and not wear masks. But because of COVID-19, this is really our only choice. But nonetheless, this is such an accomplishment. This is my favorite day of the year. When the students finish, they're so excited and it's such an accomplishment. Going to nursing school is not easy. It's not like getting a history degree, an English degree. It's it's just hard. It's really hard. And it's um, quite an accomplishment. I've always said going to nursing school is like getting a root canal every day, all day. And it's it's just not easy. And it's really takes a lot to persevere through nursing school, all the prerequisites and the clinicals, the class, the lectures, the skills lab, the anxiety over, I've got to pass my skills test. I got to pass my final. I've got to do pass clinical. Lots of anxiety and a big accomplishment. And you're finished. You're done. Congratulations. We're so proud of you. And we're proud of the rep. And I feel even, even with COVID, we're turning out you as graduates that I, I am positive you're going to still upheld the tradition that um, our graduates are accepted into the community and everyone knows that they are just stellar and well-trained and ready to just hit the ground running as an RN. So I congratulate you and I wish you the very best. And I also want you to right away consider working on your bachelor's and or master's degree because it's it's will help you tremendously in advancing in your RN career. The more education, the more opportunities. And you have the biggest hurdle behind you. Getting a bachelor's or a master's degree will seem like a piece of cake compared to what you've been through. Anybody who's been through nursing school knows it is hard. And you have done it. And you're, we congratulate you for it's such a big accomplishment. Um, you know, your families also need to be congratulated. It's no small feat to get through nursing school. And your families have participated in this and in many ways, trying to help you study, trying to stay out of your way so you could study. Um, and so hooray to all of you and congratulations. We wish you the very best and I congratulate you again. A oh, job well done. Congratulations, class of 2021. It has been so much fun working with you and watching you grow as nursing students and now to become a nurse. I wish you nothing but the best and thank you for the opportunity to help you along the way. Hello, 2021 Gavilan College graduating class of registered nurses. Gardenia Angel is coming at you from St. Louis Hospital. I wanna tell you that I enjoyed being your clinical instructor. I had a good time. I hope that you did too. I hope that it was uh, uh, fun as well as educational. I know that this past year has been um, extraordinary and for that reason it will always be memorable. 
uh, want to congratulate uh, not only yourselves, but your family, your friends, and all the cheerleaders that got you to where you are today. Uh, you're at the finish line. Um, I know you're going to do well as you go forward now and sit um, for the NCLEX exam. I'm sure you're going to pass with no problem. Um, I just wanted to tell you guys that uh, it's been an honor and a pleasure. Uh, I hope that you continue your education, um, continue to build your ladder high. In any case, I look forward to working with you or for you. Uh, remember to always advocate, empower, and educate your patients. But don't forget to take care of yourselves as well. Uh, I want to share a quote uh, that I read this morning from William Shakespeare. He said, the meaning in life is to find your gift. The purpose is to give it away. And that for me really encompasses what nursing is. I'm sure you're going to do great. Uh, you got this. Uh, as you go forward, I, I uh, wish you um, comfy scrubs, uh, strong coffee, and may your patients be always alert, oriented, and ambulatory. <laughs> I'm here for you if you ever need anything. Don't lose my number. Um, and uh, congratulations again. Hello, Gavilan RN, class of 2021, and welcome families. My name is Jessica Weiler, and I am the nursing counselor at Gavilan College. I am honored that I have been asked to be a part of this very special day for all of you. Congratulations, graduates. You have done it. All of your hard work, dedication, sacrifices, tears, and sleepless nights along the way have paid off. <clears throat> you are one step closer to your goal of becoming a registered nurse. Under normal circumstances, nursing school is hard. It is really hard, but add in a global pandemic to that and it is even more difficult. We are proud of you. Your families are proud of you and you should be proud of yourselves. It has been my pleasure to be a part of your journey here at Gavilan College and to see you succeed. I know that at the beginning, for many of you, this goal seemed unattainable. All the prerequisites, the GPA requirements, the repeating of classes, the application process, the denial letters, it can all be very discouraging and many give up along the way but you all persevered and kept your eye on the prize. Well, today you receive that prize. I encourage you to take time to celebrate your accomplishment. Take a deep breath, relax, and enjoy it. You will soon be back at it, preparing for the NCLEX, continuing your education to attain your BSN, or looking for a job. But in this moment, enjoy it. You are all amazing, and I wish you all the best in the future. Thank you.
congratulations to all my classmates. We persevered through a pandemic and we made it through all the other challenges that come with being in a nursing program. I'd like to thank Rob, my family, my friends, all of you classmates, all of our instructors, and everyone else in the nursing staff at Gavilan for all the support and encouragement throughout this journey. I want to say good luck to everybody. Congratulations, everyone. I am so proud to have come so far with all of you. It's been kind of a long road for some of us, but we made it through in a really, really tough time of our lives, and we did it, and I know we're all gonna be excellent nurses.
Alex. I'm a nursing grad from the RN program. Uh, I'm gonna let my mom pin me with my RN pin. And now he will be knighted to become an official nurse. <laughs> I dub thee an official nurse, Alex. <laughs> and now you may join the rest of your nurse brethren and sister in, in the hospital. Rise. <laughs> Uh, and I just want to take this uh, opportunity to thank everyone that supported me along the way. It was five years of me going to school, working hard, doing all my work. And it was a wild ride. <laughs> thank you, everyone. Are you going to put it on mommy? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Mommy will hold her shirt out like that. Oh, no. On the outside. On the outside. Yeah, on the outside. Good job. Oh, oh, don't poke yourself. There you go. Good job. Thank you. Okay, you want to sit down? Okay. All right. So I just want to say a quick thank you to my family. I truly could not have done this without them. It was a really hard program, but I'm really glad that I got through it. So thank you again. And we did it. You say, yay.